Now the slip has dried somewhat on the newsprint. The newsprint will dry it quickly. And with a pair of scissors, I can cut out shapes. And invert that on top of the slab. And with my rolling pin, transfer that slip onto the slab by adding a little pressure. So the clay slip will now stick onto the slab be removed from the newsprint onto the slab. This is a netting. Some more slip on top of that. So the netting becomes a stencil. A little bit of the clay pastel. And then the netting is removed. and inlaid. More slip. Using the end of the fettle knife just to make lines. So a little bit of pressure, you could remove the slip from the newsprint onto the slab and redirect it somewhere else. Another tool, this is a cookie cutter. So one color gets inlaid on top of another color. And uh, often those colors will bleed through each other after the glaze is applied. This is a sponge with slip. This is a stencil I purchased in a uh, in a uh, store in actually Santa Fe where they sell architectural drawings. Another stencil. Gets inlaid flat. And the newsprint doesn't pull much of the color off. More slip. More pastel. The stencil is removed. Rolled flat again with the rolling pin. And this is the ear syringe that I put on with the uh, slip trailer. And that gets inlaid. A piece of newsprint, a bat, turn it upside down, invert it, pull the canvas away. Now we're going to take a bat and add water to the bottom of it. And that gets turned upside down. The first bat is removed. The newsprint is removed. And it gets centered onto the wheel by applying three pads of clay to the wheel head. And then the bat is placed on top of that and centered and leveled. and then cut. So 
So with a wet sponge, I'm going to soften the cut edge. The perimeter gets softened a little bit. I'm also wetting the lip. Oh, I would say about an inch, an inch and a half in. Then I stop the wheel and with a wet sponge, wet the bottom inch and a half. And then lift it up and uh, throw it. And now I'm adding some slip on the lip. That's it. No trimming, no warping. This is another technique of using slips on newsprint and some pastel, some colored clay on top of that. And it sticks to where it's wet. I'm removing some slip. And then uh, with a cylinder inside, rolling it against uh, the clay. And this is colored clay. So we're going to take that and put it in our pasta machine and thin it out. And a pair of scissors cutting out shapes. Placing that onto the newsprint. And inlaying that. So we're combining slips with colored clay in this process. Some coils. This is pasta. Buy that in a supermarket. I think they make uh, soup with it. And that gets inlaid into the slab. Of course, that'll burn out in the kiln but leave the impression of the numbers and the letters. Now this is the ear syringe that's added. It's now dry onto the newsprint and rolled onto the slab, onto the cylinder and inlaid. So the wheel head is wet Cylinder is centered. I add a little bit of protection by putting the pads there so it doesn't jump off center. And then I'll throw the lip. And uh, shape it with my rolling pin. So I threw the lip, I'm removing the pads that kept it on center, and with a uh, small cylinder inside, I'm shaping it into an oval. And then secure the bottom. Here I'm scalloping the bottom. This is a wedding pot. Some people call it a stirrer pot. So the bride drinks out of one side and the groom drinks out of the other. And then it's shaped, pinched and shaped. So they made them out of leather. I'm 
in this case, of course, it's clay, and that hole is something that went over their stirrup of the horse. But most people see them as wedding pots. 